First time that's happened. Why is there even a death trigger active there? There's no way to get there. Don't know why that failed. I did that fine, frankly. Fuck you. I think the I think the last like Western visual novel that I played that I really liked, and it wasn't a dating sim, was Butterfly Soup. The point where I was thinking about it lately, and I was like, oh, is Butterfly Soup two still a thing? And the answer is, yeah, but the creator's, like, not really the sort to be posting about it constantly. I guess they're just sort of quietly working on it, maybe. I don't know. I actually have no way of knowing. stand in like the one place where they take up the whole hallway. Get fucked, man. 0496. Why is that- that hitbox is bad. Please don't. I walk up to it and I press the interact button, the game's like, no! Not close enough, and it's like I'm literally touching the desk. I cannot physically be closer. It's not inside the desk, it's on top of it. You can see it. turning. Why am I so dumb? Really? Well, I'll take that at least. playing the game with one hand right now. My power is immense.
That skip isn't new. It's been in the run for two years. <laughs> Why so me? What do you mean? I'm saying that one's not new. This one's new. Provided I don't fuck it up. Fine, for sure, whatever. The mole skip is fucking new. I found it yesterday, okay? Like, it's not, and I didn't find it, but y y sure, I found it. I made this. Like, will, th will this- will that make you happy? Okay, well, that- Probably didn't work. I'm gonna try anyway. Maybe. Didn't think so. <laughs> okay, I'm surprised that didn't work though. Hooray, I'm out of bounds. If I could maybe not fuck this up this time, that would be grand. There we go. It's not that complex. I notice it does seem to break, like, strafe turning slightly for some reason. I think it still thinks I'm in the other room. It's okay, my chat is a bunch of stream monsters. Like, do you ever, do you ever get, like, a harrowing feeling sometimes? I get a harrowing feeling sometimes from the fact that I know that, like, most of the people who watch me get all of their information about the ones they watch from me and only me, which means I could lie about fucking anything and people would believe it. The world record holder in this game is Billy Mitchell. Like, I don't do these things because I'm not a complete twat. But it would be, it would be possible, like, I could just take credit for shit I didn't find. Like, th th all these out of bounds, all me, I found all of it. It was all me, it wasn't all me, it wasn't even close to all me. In fact, it was basically zero me. Subway split. I do notice that because I notice that I am p in particular am pretty bad at like remembering who has the record or even what my own PVs are if it is me who has the record. I don't memorize shit like that. I don't know who does. But because I don't know, people ask me, like I know, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't memorize things like that. And then they also don't know. But I could just say anything if they're asking me. Way there, lad. Or, you know, actually, come to think of it, I don't even have to say anything. There are lots of people out there who still think that, like, I have records in things that I don't because I just haven't mentioned it in a while. I do, in fact, just say speedrun.com has the record. Like, see what happens if you type exclamation mark world record into my chat. That is my default answer to that question.
You can type WR. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot the formatting. You just post a link to speedrun.com. I did it again! <laughs> That's not how menuing works! Oh! Yeah, there are, I've, uh, people have, uh, have come into my chat sometimes. I don't think anyone here has done this recently. But people come to my chat sometimes and been like, Oh, uh, what, what was your, like, world record time in X Gaming? And I was like, I'm not the world record holder of that anymore. Well, here's a random question. How many of you still think I'm the record holder for Silent Hill 1? Because I'm not, and I haven't been for, like two years. But I encounter people every so often who still think I am. Oh, I thought that was good. have record in this. That line was not crispy. I have the record in, in fact, I have the sweep in this now, actually. <laughs> I have the record in all three main categories. Uh, any percent, like, new game, any percent was the last one I didn't have, and in fact is the only one I never had at any point in the past history, but then the Out of Bounds got found, and I quickly, like, shit one out, so I could claim that I have, I have had all of the main ones at some point, which is good. It's bullshit, but, haha, I have. Do I know about Big Bad Gamathon? I'm aware of its existence. What about it? Have you ran at it? I've never even, like, thought to submit to it or anything. Like, it's, it's, it's an online marathon, right? I am still World Record for Sound Level 2, actually. Yes, I'm surprised by that. I honestly didn't think that one would hold for as long as it has, but it has. Well, I haven't ran hard. For one, I hated hard mode, and for two, I haven't ran that category in a very long time at this point. In fact, I think my run of that is pre RNG minute. I think. Did I ever do a hard mode run that was post? I don't. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know anything about anything. I have a memory like a fucking sieve. Wait, when, when did I do this? Zombie Revenge and it'll bleed. Okay, so like, I'll, it'll bleed, sure. Zombie Revenge, probably not. Like, Z Zombie Revenge is not a game I have, like, very strong feelings for. Now, I tell you what, I could submit Resident Evil Survivor. That is definitely a bad video game. <laughs> that is definitely a game that is bad. Without question, that is a game that is bad. <laughs> In fact, I could submit any of the gun survivors, really. Those are all games that which are bad. What? Did I forget to do something? How did I save five seconds? Is 
Nothing in right there. I imagine I will have the ill bleed sweep for a long time. Oh, I'm so bad at this. No, I'm actually godlike at this. The the thing about the ill bleed sweep that I have right is is I did I, this I'm actually gonna like now I'm gonna toot my own horn and take all the credit for stuff because I did all of my own routing I did all of my own research, uh, and it was really good research too, <laughs> but I never wrote it down anywhere because I'm a fucking idiot. I mean, well actually no, I did write it down, but I wrote it down badly. I still have my notes. I could probably like get up to speed if I wanted to practice it again. Like I still have my notes. Those are all still present. I did write down all my research, but like. I couldn't give that to someone else and be like, and have them understand it. It would, like, it's my notes. They only make sense to me. Because I, like, notate things. For one, half of it is in Japanese. Because I notate with fucking Japanese symbols. Yeah, I don't think I should do it. Do you want to- do you see the PV on the screen, mate? Mate. 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 Fucking no, kick your ass, mate. Mate, do you see the PV on the screen? Look at the screen. Look at the time on the screen. <laughs> Jokey submitted a, a time that beat my time from two days ago that I beat already, it just didn't upload it. But yes, it's 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 on the leaderboard. I I have since PB'd by uh, a minute. <laughs> you do not see. That was funky. I will never stop firing this gun. I said to check speedrun.com. I will kick your ass! I didn't want to submit my, like, six second PD to the board. Because it seemed... not worth it, you know? But now, like, it'll be, you know, I'll have a, a nice run to submit because I PB by, like, a minute 20. In fact, I could PB by more. I'm 20 seconds ahead right now. I just have to not crash the game again. Stay hydrated. Can fucking do. There's definitely still water in that, I swear. Yeah, sure. By all means, forward me the info. Why not? What kind of viewership does it get, actually? I'm gonna be super selfish and, like... Yeah, I'm just gonna come out with it. How, how, many, how, many, how many people watch it? <laughs> I totally care. I am that bitch. I care. I ain't wanna fucking run for an event that gets, like, less viewers than I do. Unless I really, really care about the event in question. Which sometimes, sometimes I do actually. Fuck you, Heather! You dumb asshole! The range was 200 to 3000. That's wide. By the way, that sounds... that sounds pretty... that sounds like normal to good for a... for a medium-sized online marathon. Essentially GDQ backed and hosted. Oh, then I have no chance of getting in. <laughs> no, I, sh I should definitely submit then to see if I can still, like, get into... get into events. 
Have I managed to piss off everyone yet? Am I still, like, can I still do it? Or have I, like, pissed off too many people? You can't stab me. My DDQ band? No. <laughs> Not even close. The thing that I say, though, is that I am vocally critical of basically every major online marathon. Not even, not even online marathon. I'm just, I'm basically, I'm vocally critical of pretty much every speedrun marathon, not even online. Uh, 3796. Over various things, and I wonder if that hurts me. There is no way to know. Because everything is a black box and occurs behind closed doors. It's extremely paranoid of me, I know, but I have no way of knowing. Vocally critical is a nice way of putting it, but I am vocally critical. Like, I've, I've criticized in the past the fact that you shouldn't fucking volunteer for hosting for GDQ because it's a giant grift. Don't volunteer your fucking labor to a multi-million dollar company, that's stupid. I don't give a fuck if it's for charity. Don't fucking do that. That I'm popular at GDQ? I mean, yes. In a sense. Kind of. A bit, I think. I like. I, here's the thing. I find it really hard to gauge. All of it. All of the donation money goes to charity. It doesn't even touch their purse. That's not the part I have a problem with. I'm not accusing them of corruption. Not that kind of corruption, at least. But for one, their books are also public. You can just look it up. It's, surprisingly, it's actually like not the money slash charity angle I have any real problem with. Like, I don't, here's the, I don't really care. But that's the thing, I don't really care about that. I'm more concerned about the, like, game selections and the effect it has on the community and what have you, and how I don't really feel like they give back to the community in any relevant way. I remember I was having a conversation with Cool Maddie a while ago uh, about the hotfix and how it's this weird black box that mostly serves to benefit GDQ's own, rather than a... Uh, because a whole lot of, the, like, sub subscription money from... Uh, from the Games Done Quick channel, uh, when it is not a marathon month, doesn't go to a charity, it goes directly to GDQ so they can fund events like the Hotfix and what have you. Which is okay on face value. I don't really care that much. My problem is that I don't really feel like the Hotfix gives back sufficiently to the community. It does a whole lot of fucking advertising for Kizaron and J-Hobs, but it doesn't really give back to the community. Unless you mean their communities, at which point, yeah, sure. To be clear, by the way, I don't really have a problem with either of those people individually, but I am totally saying they benefit disproportionately from the existence of the hotfix. Is that, like, fair? I think that's fair. I think even they would admit to that if I said that. They do. And that's kind of curious, because, you know, they're both staff. Or, like, whatever stuff they air on. Dude, fuck off. Because, you know, they, they, have, they have the first step, which is basically... Uh, that's not going to hit because that's too far away. They have the first step, which is where they basically... Like, one of their the GDQ staff members does, like, a blind speedrun, which mostly just serves to advertise their own presence. Uh, they, ha they have recently aired a new thing called Mercy Kill, which was pretty much the same thing, except 
I don't know. I don't really know what the difference was there, honestly. Still basically just advertising their own. It's like, ah, this is what that's going towards when Marathon Peak isn't in session. Okay. That's nice. I mean, on face value, it's, like, fine to do that. If you want to produce your own show with, like, you in it, okay. But you're definitely benefiting from uh, a charity for your own personal streaming endeavors. And that is a bit... A bit fucking weird. Not gonna lie. So I had I had that conversation with Cool Maddie about how like I mostly felt like what GDQ airs in the off peak hours, it doesn't really serve the community, it just sort of serves themselves. Cause I would like to be more involved with the community spotlight things that they air when they actually get people from various communities to run games. For some reason I seem to never know about these when they're happening. Because, like, from what I understand, hosts just pick people they know to do them. Like, they find the people who's like, hey, do you want to do this? Do you want to come on the show? So, like, no one knows how to, like, get in. You need to be inside the circle. I'm not inside the fucking circle. I'm very much not inside that social circle. I'm very not inside that social circle. It may surprise you to learn this. But I, <laughs> I don't actually get on very well <laughs> with quite a lot of the relevant people involved in this. Is that counting against me? No fucking clue. Might just be unlucky. Don't know. I, th that's the problem, right? Is that it could very well not be malice at any step of the process. It could just be that the idea hasn't occurred. But I have to, like, get the idea to occur. I have to, like, get in somehow. I don't have an in. I don't know how it works, so, and because I don't know how it works, I don't know how to get in. Is it like, it's a catch-22, like, I'm not, I'm not on the inside. You know, I don't need to be involved with fucking everything, but the fact that I've been involved with nothing is a bit weird, <laughs> considering they've done multiple games that I would otherwise have been a... I would otherwise, you know, have like a strong interest in doing because it's not like I wouldn't mind doing it but like how do you get picked like don't like don't call us we'll call you I'm not hard to get a hold of I don't know what's up with that like recently the, the one that stuck out to me the most was a recent thing where they uh they they did a marathon for Railkun's birthday who I don't think is is Railkun GDQ star 5 no fucking clue Either way, they did a thing for Relkin's birthday, which, aside from it being kind of so promotional, uh, they got basically him and a bunch of his friends to run games that... to just run games, which is super fucking nepotistic, for one. Like, I'm, I'm just... I'm gonna go straight up and say that that's, like, super fucking nepotistic. <laughs> super nepotistic, but, like, okay, fine. Oh, that was the worst key drop in the world. Like, ignoring the fact that's super nepotistic, <laughs> uh, one of the games that got picked to do, like, a speedrun of was uh, King Dime did a run of Doom 64, which, okay. Slightly weird on face value, because King Dime doesn't even have a run on the board, but I guess he's, you know, it was, it was Relkin's friends. I'm not friends with Relkin. I'm, I'm aware of who he is, at least. We've spoken once and didn't kill each other. But, uh, it would be fair to say we're not, like, super well acquainted. But it was a bit weird because, like, the, the commentary track as well was, was Zello and it was Peaches on top of King Dime, which is pretty much all of the active Doom 64 runners at that moment in time. And I didn't even know it was happening. And I was like, really? I'm the only one who didn't find out? <laughs> I don't feel like it's targeted. It's just sort of like, I'm just not, like, it's not like a targeted, oh, fuck punchy. It's just like, I'm not in the loop. The loop. I'm not in it. Where's the loop? You know what I'm saying? Shit. The loop. I need to be in the loop. I'm really struggling with this one.
I don't feel like it's a targeted thing to try and, like, leave people out specifically. But if you're not, like, on the in... If you're not, like, on the inside, on the in crowd, it can be difficult to get in. Because people, like, you won't even be in the conversation to start with. In order to get in, you need to be in the conversation. And I have no way of knowing. It could just be nothing. But, like, this is a problem that goes beyond just the fact that I feel left out of the loop. But, like, everyone's left out of the loop. Until you're in the loop, you're not in the loop. And lots of people are not in the fucking loop. At any rate, I'm not really, like, accusing them of anything major other than, like, slightly mild nepotism. Slightly mild nepotism. There are worse accusations I could level at an organization. It's definitely mild nepotism, though. Fuck out of the way! Yaranaika. Fruit Loops are fucking disgusting. It is, it can be unavoidable sometimes, but I don't really think they make much effort to even try. <laughs> But then they never have. That did not get early cycle. Yeah. I don't think I've got an early cycle on any of these runs. It's a little sad. Probably, but like, I don't know, like, what would I even pitch to the hotfix? The fact that I need to have, like, come up with a whole thing on my own to pitch to them is a pretty steep entry barrier when other people are just allowed to be involved on things they're already thinking of doing. Yeah, Eggdice has just got fucking asked. I have never been asked. He got in. He he was in the loop. I am in no such loop. Anyway, it's still weird even if they are expecting me to come to them with an email because for one they really don't pro they, do they don't project that very well if that element was ever in play I never fucking knew about it I'm honestly shocked that dodge worked Number two, that is a steep fucking requirement. Come up with your own pitch. And others just... It just sort of comes to them. 
Oh well. It's not like I'm not used to working harder than everyone else in this fucking land. I run bullshit. Sorry, that was very cynical. It's also true. Is there a guy here? No. What the fuck? That guy wanted my nuts. I have weeb zone. I don't know what standards have- that's the thing, I have no- I don't know what standards have a bitch entails at all. I have literally no idea what that entails. How goes the speedruns? I've PB'd by like a minute 20 and this run is also on the pace. Ah, this run where I've been bitching about GDQ things for like a solid 20 minutes is the one that is actually on pace to be a 29. Wouldn't be the first time. Very mild things though. You know. Not major, at least. It's not really cosmically important or anything. The vote happens on Twitter? That would be why I've not seen it. <laughs> I don't follow the GDQ account. They just aired Mercy Kill, so... Oh my god, dude. The, f the first step, I think, has always been, like, one of the staff members. I've never seen it not be that. But then, uh, here's the thing, I've never stuck around to watch the full, like, a full length of one of those, because I found them quite boring. So I may be on the end card. I think that's the idea. What it actually is is a thinly veiled advert. Uh, no, the beam saber. Hit him! Hit him! Whack him! I win the game! I have a 29. Yay! That's the run that I have to put on YouTube? <laughs> really? Okay. Oh well. Well, you know, that that was the run I was looking for the last time. I was on 29 pace on the run that crashed. That one didn't crash. That wasn't even like a great out of- like the out of bounds took me a long fucking time to do. <laughs> yeah, just go faster, forehead. Chad is never satisfied. Vultures, all of you. 
maybe I could pitch a community spotlight for Silent Hill 3 now that we have new shit and it was mostly found by the community working in tandem. 